Starting this week, you should notice a few more dollars in your paycheck, courtesy of the Economic Stimulus Plan. Our financial contributor, Ray Martin, is here to talk about that and about tax refunds. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Harry. So when does this really get underway in earnest? Well, this is, this is happening right about now. Right. The, the president has asked employers to reduce the payroll tax withholding from workers' paychecks starting yesterday, April 1st, okay. for folks to get more money in their paychecks. So on, for, for a single or for, for a couple, what, what, how much money are we okay. talking about, well, like per week? Yeah, th this is part of the Making Work Pay tax credit that a lot of people will be eligible for for their 2009 tax return. Mm -hmm. And what that means is, in advance of getting the tax credit, you're going to get more money in your paycheck now. If you're single, you're going to see about $10 to $15 mm -hmm. more per week. Right. And if, you're, if your withholding status is married, uh, uh, jointly, you're going to see 15 to 20 dollars per week. The amount will depend on your withholding allowances, single and one, married and four, and how much salary you get. But those right. are a good range. Because if you make too much money, it just washes out, right? Well, that's true. Yeah, that's right. Okay, all right. So chances are, what, now what are the thresholds there for for the money? If okay. you're single. Okay. This, if I'm making less than what? Well, this tax credit here is a $400 tax credit for singles, $800 tax credit for couples, okay? Mm -hmm. and, but you don't get this tax credit. You'll get the withholding uh, more money in your paycheck right, right now. But if you don't qualify for this tax credit, if you're single and earning uh, over $75,000, uh, okay. if your couple's earning over $150,000, right. you only get a partial credit. So you're going to get the money in your paycheck now, mm -hmm. but you may not get the tax credit in your tax return. Down the line. Next, so you may get a smaller refund next year right. or maybe even owe a little tax. Just I, I want to get off a of script here a second. Yeah. You think this is a smart way to do this? Because <laughs> remember, President Bush handed out checks for whatever, several hundred dollars. Yeah. And, and paid printing costs and right. postage costs. This is a kind of a trickle This is out. a smart way to do it. This mm. is a way to get money in people's paychecks. Now, I've been saying for years, if you get a refund or if you're going to get a tax credit, mm -hmm. don't wait until next year when you file your tax return. Get it right. now by reducing the taxes withheld from your mm -hmm. pay. So they're finally catching on to that advice, I right. guess. And putting that extra money in people's paychecks. Now, it makes a lot of sense, and it's a low-cost way to do it. And who couldn't use a little extra? cash flow right and now. And at the end of this year, yep. how much more, how, what, what am I going to end be, up with be, between the tax rebates and refunds and well, trickle well, out? Well, you know, check this out. People are going to see 10 to $20 extra in their paycheck now, but the average tax refund right. for this re, this tax season we're winding up right now is about $2,900 wow. per person, which is about $230 more mm -hmm. than last year for a variety of reasons folks are getting. So they're getting a bigger refund right now and right. folks are going to be getting more money in their paychecks starting now. Give me the building blocks for what you ought to be doing with this money. Well, you know, people will say, hey, go out and spend it. You know, I'm never going to agree with that. So I'll give you my, my list here. First and foremost is an emergency fund. You really need to build an emergency mm -hmm. fund. Six to 12 months living expenses in this economy with continuing job losses. But if you have high interest credit card debt, Get 20, 20, rid of it. pay that down. Use this tax refund and extra cash flow to do that. If you've done those two things, contribute to an IRA or a 401k. Invest in yourself by going to conferences, seminars, take college courses. And then finally, if you've done all of that and you're still in good shape, make an extra mortgage payment. Hey, way to go. Ray Martin, it's all always right. a pleasure. Do appreciate it, man.